This is part two of the Summer Games Challenge. It's a challenge laid out a little bit differently, so I'm doing it over a few parts. Hey, I'm Mike. Let's jump straight into some more gameplay and pack openings for the Summer Games Challenge. It's going pretty well. The challenges aren't difficult. Often, if you have the cars, you can do it. There's plenty of RQ. The other side of the challenges, of course, is the events, which you have to do very well at to get the legendary at the end. The Zenvo. I'm doing really well. I'm 110th out of how many tens of thousands of people are playing. That's pretty good. I've got a lot of first places in these Summer Games events. The top guys, there's only 12 of them. Top guys have six events and six wins. I've got five events, five wins, and a fourth place or something, whatever it was. So I'm doing pretty well. Today I'm on target for probably a third or fourth place. I'm not getting first place. These guys aren't playing much. They've got better hand than me. So it's not going to be a clean sweep tonight. So that's a bit of a summary. We've got three more challenges going on here. I've done two of them so I can get a couple of packs. I will do the third one now and get the Honda. Right, it's called Mountain Bike. We've got plenty of points to do it. Let's just find some appropriate cars and jump in and see what it's like. As I say, these challenges haven't been that difficult if you have the cars. I've got a really big garage, therefore I've technically got a really big Summer Games garage. And a lot of those cars are maxed, so let's go and find some off-road stuff. A lot of those cars are maxed and I have duplicates that are maxed, so this is quite easy for me, even when the RQ is quite low. I've got a couple of all-service tyre SUVs I can put in there. I guess the last card we go looking for, probably some sort of standard tyre car. Right, so we've got a long drag and a hill climb, but these are all performance tyre cars, so this is no trouble at all. This is probably how it's going to go. The RQ will go up slightly, the cars will get better, but they will still be performance tyre cars on dirt and wet. Right, big win for round one, round two. The good thing about these challenges is we're getting done and we're getting them done and we're getting rewards, but we're also getting cash for every round we play and there's a lot of challenges. Pretty much one a day, even though they're chucking them out in batches of three and four and five. Right, that's a big win on the twisty circuit, 81 points. Yep, easy win, good. We'll probably find we have to change the cars at some point because there'll be some sort of meaty drag that these cars just can't handle. But for the time being, beating performance tire cars on dirt is not difficult. I think we'll put that on there. No, yeah, yeah, right, okay, here we go. Never too sure when you put these things with a 0 60 of 9.2 on a quarter mile if they're any good, but obviously it's dirt and it's got all surface tires for wheel drive, so it's gone off the line pretty quick. Good. Round four. Gravel. Gravel. We've got a test bowl and a one miler. We're not looking at that Lamborghini on the slalom because that will be easy to beat. We've got a test bowl and a one miler. So we need something a bit more. Right, so we can start dropping in our Fiat of Baths. And we'll put that in as well. That'll be good on the test bowl. Okay, let's see how that goes. Taking liberties going up against some of these cars, but standard tyres against performance tyres always works on the gravel. Okay, round five. Right, we've got another drag. But now we've got the cars for the drag because we can put that guy, my blue four-wheel drive performance tyre one on the drag. And that will just get the lift from the four-wheel drive, which will give us the boost. And of course, these guys are going to beat them easily. Those the baths are great cars. I highly recommend them, if you can recommend a car. Right, half a mile, river, G-force, twisty, and hairpin. Okay, that's a 62 win, should be easy, 590. And some more cash. Right, round seven. Let's have a look if we have to move up our RQ. We need an ultra rare. 
and we probably just swap out that and put that in. I've still got a load of RQ left. We can probably get rid of that um, RQ40. Super rare. What have we got? Something good? Maybe that? No, maybe that. I don't use that Subaru much. It used to be great. It still is great, I think. It's just overshadowed a bit. But certainly it's going to do the business against a slick tyre on the Rallycross Medium. Let's have a look at this. Yes, that's a win. Good. Okay, 8.53. Not scraping very many wins, are we? We're getting some pretty big points. Right, we've still got a lot of performance tyre cars on the Slalom G-Force. That half mile should be okay, I think. And the one mile, obviously. Okay, yeah, big win. That's a great truck, that um, Triton Sport R. Right, okay, round nine. Um, yeah, this is still very doable with what I've got. It's just where I put my standard tyre, I guess. It doesn't hurt to put it on the twisty road because that's a performance tyre, front wheel drive car. The rest can all be dirt, that's fine. Tour will be a nice big win. 229. No problem at all. 1109. 1500. Okay, this is for the gold medal, which will make it three we've got to play with in the ladder. That's not too difficult at all. Okay. That's a bit of a big win again. 177 and 800, no, 582. Okay, gold medal, there you go. Right, so we've got three gold medals to claim now. That's all the challenges done that are available. So we'll go and claim these three medals. I have already claimed the Hummer off camera and I claimed the Mazda with the fancy paintwork off camera as well and obviously the packs. Nothing came good of the packs, but um, that's okay. So we've got a ceramic, a carbon fiber and an ultra rare to claim today. This is for the ceramic. Same cars as we used last time, haven't changed them out. They're my best performance tire. Summer Games cars. It's my Max Koenigsegg. 1712. Right, here we go. Premium ceramic pack. Let's make it good. Land Rover. Dodge. Hyundai. Ditmasso and a Jaguar XFS. I don't remember seeing that picture but I've got it, otherwise it would have been wishlisted. Is that a new picture? It might have been a recrop or a new picture. It looks different. I don't remember seeing that. Maybe I just never used it. Anyway, this is for the carbon fiber. We're doing the same races again. 374 as always, 1712. Okay, carbon fiber. Come on, make it a good one. Alpha, Hyundai, Mazda, super rare Skoda and a Ditomasso RQ50. That was the minimum, wasn't it? Okay, so this is for a price car. It's an ultra rare price car, to be fair. I don't know how useful it's going to be. I don't really like the picture. But it's another car for the garage, and it could be useful. You never know. Sometimes the ultra rare price cars are useful. And there it is, Honda NSXT. As I say, I don't really like the picture angle. It's a bit weird. A lot of tarmac. But that's it, done. So we've got some more rounds to go. I'm hoping to make a video of those last five from the Hummer Epic to the Dodge Challenger Legendary, if I can get that far, of course. That does mean you probably won't see these three packs, the two ceramics and the carbon fiber. I will probably record them and if they're great, I'll add them in somewhere, but I don't want to make too many videos. And the last video I'm hoping will be for the last Zenvo, the RQ105 Legendary. And I don't want to make more than four videos for this series. But that's all we've got now. A little short one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do hit that subscribe button. Please watch some of my other videos. If you've got time today, please go and watch one of the other ones. I've got a quiz coming up. Picture quiz coming up on Friday, Saturday maybe, if I don't get it finished. Um, please do hang around for that. I'm hoping it will be good. Thank you very much for watching. Get yourself out of here. We are done.